The Unsolved Mystery of the Zodiac Killer, Examining the Clues and Suspects. Killing was fun and a game for him. He derived pleasure in turning heads and causing confusion. He was smart and intelligent. The police tried to put themselves in his shoes, but they were unsuccessful. In this video, we will be talking about the famous Zodiac Killer. But before we start, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. During the late 1960s, a serial killer going by the alias Zodiac Killer terrorized Northern California. It's been said that this is the most well-known murder mystery that has never been solved in the United States. It stuck around in the public consciousness and prompted amateur investigators to try to crack the case. The Zodiac Killer utilized his identity to send obscene messages to San Francisco Bay Area publications. He continued to use threats of mass murder and bombs until around 1974 to get outlets to publish his messages. The messages were deliberately vague, some even contained cryptograms. The Zodiac was openly mocking the media, as decoded from the letters. The decoded texts also revealed a possible justification for the crime. The Zodiac said he killed people so he may have slaves to serve him in paradise. Many have attempted and failed to decode the Zodiac's messages, notably the one that begins, My name is underscore 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 underscore. The Zodiac Slayer said, It is more fun than killing wild game in the forest. He wrote, Man is the most dangerous animal of all. It is suspected that at least five victims were murdered by the Zodiac Killer, an unnamed American serial killer in Northern California during the years 1968 and 1969. A murder committed in 1966 in Riverside, California, of a college student aged 18 years old who was stabbed to death is also occasionally ascribed to the Zodiac Killer. The case was the basis for two, case was the basis for two classic films, Clint Eastwood and Robert Aldrich's Dirty Harry, 1971, and David Fincher and Matt Damon's Zodiac, 2007. He picked on a few young people and a lone cab driver. Benicia, Vallejo, unincorporated Napa County, and San Francisco are proper, were all hit by his attacks that have been documented. Only two of his injured victims made it. The Zodiac claimed responsibility for the deaths of 37 people. Multiple unsolved crimes, both in and outside of Southern California, have been linked to him. This term was coined by the Zodiac when he sent a series of threatening letters and cards to local media, threatening killing sprees and bombs if his letters and cards were not published. The killer said he was gathering his victims as slaves for the afterlife in ciphers or cryptograms contained in some of the letters. Two of the four ciphers he created have never been cracked, and a fourth won't be deciphered until the year 2020. There have been numerous hypotheses put up as to the killer's identity, However, the only person ever publicly mentioned as a suspect by authorities was Arthur Lee Allen, a former elementary school teacher and convicted sex offender who passed away in 1992. Zodiac's written communications stopped about 1974, yet the case's uniqueness has kept it in the public eye around the world. After being designated as inactive in April 2004, the investigation was reopened by the San Francisco Police Department prior to March 2007. In addition to Napa and Solano counties, the city of Vallejo is still investigating the case. Since the Zodiac killings occurred in 1969, the California Department of Justice has kept an active case file. His Victims A teenage couple was gunned down in 1968 near their automobile in a desolate location north of San Francisco. The following year, the couple was assaulted in a similar fashion, although this time, the male victim survived. The culprit called the police after the 1969 attack to report the crime and admit that he or she was responsible for the killings that occurred the year before. The Zodiac Killer struck again later that year, this time on another young couple, with the male victim escaping unscathed once again. In October of 1969, a taxi driver was the last victim to be identified. As a result of the murderer's taunting letters to newspapers and phone calls to the police, the investigation and media coverage of the case was both extensive. From 1969 through 1974, he wrote letters signed, This is the Zodiac Speaking, which often began with a symbol like the crosshairs of a gun sight. The first cipher or cryptogram was delivered in three sections to three publications in the Bay Area in July 1969. Shortly after its first release, 
a, pa a pair of ordinary citizens cracked the code, which became known as the 408 cipher due to the number of characters it contained. Part of the letter read, I like killing people because it is so much fun. It wasn't until 2020 that a group of three amateur codebreakers cracked the 340 cipher, a message sent to the San Francisco Chronicle in November 1969 that stated, I hope you are having lots of fun in trying to catch me. There is still a lot we don't know about the Zodiac case, including the exact point at which the murders ceased. There is also debate about the claims made by crime writer Robert Graysmith, who claims the Zodiac killer continued killing victims well into the 1980s. There were a number of people in the 1990s who said they had tracked down the Zodiac killer. The most common suspect was a schoolteacher from Vallejo, California, named Arthur Lee Allen, 1933 to 1992, who had been institutionalized in 1975 for child molestation. However, no evidence has ever linked Allen to the crimes. The suspects, Arthur Lee Allen. Arthur Lee Allen, who passed away in 1992, was presented as a suspect in Robert Gray Smith's book, Zodiac, on the basis of inferences drawn from other pieces of evidence. Over the course of 20 years, Allen was the subject of multiple search warrants and was interviewed by authorities from the very beginning of the Zodiac investigations. According to multiple detectives, Allen was the most likely suspect, as stated by Graysmith in 2007. Dave Toski said in 2010 that the case against Allen turned out to be negative due to a lack of evidence. In 2018, Toski's daughter told reporters that her father had suspected Allen all along, but they lacked the proof to convict him. Actor Mark Ruffalo, who played Toski in the Zodiac film adaptation from 2007, get into who these officers were. You see how they have to take their hunches, their own views, out of it. The moment that man walked through the door, I knew it was him, Dave Toski told me. He knew he had him, but he could never find conclusive proof, so he had to keep looking for different possibilities. Allen was interviewed by Vallejo Police, viewed by Vallejo Police Department Detective John Lynch on October 6, 1969. Allen was spotted near the scene of the September 27, 1969, attack on Hartnell and Shepard at Lake Berryessa, and he claimed to have been scuba diving at Salt Point on that fateful day. In 1971, Allen's friend Donald Cheney alerted authorities in Manhattan Beach, California, to the fact that Allen had expressed a desire to kill people, referred to himself as Zodiac, and had attached a spotlight to a weapon for nighttime use. Cheney claims this discussion occurred on or before January 1, 1969. According to a report written by Vallejo police officer Jack Mullinax, Allen was given a dishonorable discharge from the United States Navy in 1958 and removed from his employment as an elementary school teacher in March 1968 due to claims of sexual misbehavior with pupils. Some of his acquaintances described him as fixated on women, despite his usually positive reputation. Gary Francis Post. In October 2021, a group calling themselves the Case Breakers claimed to have solved the Zodiac Killer's identity naming the perpetrator Gary Francis Post, an 80-year-old man who had passed away in 2018. Post's forehead scars matched those identified by the team as belonging to the killer, and the group claimed to have unearthed forensic evidence and photographs from Post's darkroom. They also claimed that one of Zodiac's cryptograms showed a hidden message when the letters of Post's name were removed, Richard Gajkowski. The newspaper editor Richard Gajkowski was the person being investigated in an episode of the History Channel's Mystery Quest series in 2009. At the time of the murders, Gajkowski was employed by the San Francisco counterculture publication Good Times. He looked like the composite sketch, and Nancy Slover, the police dispatcher in Vallejo who was, cont in Vallejo who was contacted by the Zodiac soon after the Blue Rock Springs attack, positively identified a tape of Gajkowski's voice as that of the Zodiac, Richard Marshall. Police snitches said they had evidence to believe Richard Marshall was the Zodiac killer because he had alluded to being a murderer in private. Marshall's 1966 and 1969 residences were in close proximity to the murder sites of Bates and Stein, respectively. He screened the Red Phantom, 1907, by Segundo de Chaumont, whose name was utilized by the putative author of the 1974 Zodiac Letter and was a fan of silent films. In a nutshell, 
Even though he wasn't found, the highest guess is he was right underneath the police's nose, and they still didn't see him. He definitely would have been dead by now, but they found clues directing fingers to someone. Hopefully, it is the right person. We are at the end of this video. Give us a like and subscribe to this